going on, people? Welcome back. I'm playing an underground game. Not many of y'all ever even probably heard about this. It's called Blues and Bullets. It's just like the Tales Hill game. So it is episodic, and only the first two episodes have been released. So I want to play through these while we're waiting on Batman. Y'all know the rules. Hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Also, put your favorite part as a timestamp in the comment section. Without further ado, let's hop into this Blues and Bullets. Oh, yeah, we're going to run into Al Capone on this shit. Let's go. Your turn. <laughs> Try to escape from the. Hey, this art style. I played a game like this two years ago called uh, the Saboteur. Get me out of here, please. Uh. Yeah, she dirty, dirty as hell, bro. Dirty as hell, fam. We gotta find if a way out escape, of here. I'll be punished. I've been bad. Don't worry, I can do this. What if you can't? I'll be punished. Just like Juliet. You see? One down. That just leaves yours and the one on the door. I'll be punished. I've been bad. I'll be punished. It's okay. Be quiet. <gasps> Boy, you better you better shut up. Come over there and slap you in the mouth. Just look out, okay? You get us both pinched. All right. This isn't the main character either. You're you're like a detective or something. This is like the prelude of some kind. All right. How do you walk faster? Is there a way to walk faster? Alright, we gotta find a way to get that guy, that kid out of here. Emergency. Quick, get me out of here. Be quiet. I mean, you look like a Junior Pee Wee Herman. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm only worried about my well-being. I don't care if you catch you. I don't know you, bro. I do not know you.
I'm savage on these games, man. He told. Bitch. In the first 48. She's over there. I seen her. I got her birth certificate, her social security card. She's in the closet. Telling. Oh, God. I was just looking for something to eat, bro. Glass of milk or, or something. Blues and bullets. See, that was just the intro. Blues. Netflix original. Black and white graphics. Red shoes. How you doing? All right, hope you all are going to enjoy this series. It's something a little bit different. I haven't seen a whole lot of YouTube playing this at all, so I decided to do this before I do a scary game. Sooner rather than later, we got a whole bunch of games coming out in September, October. Not September. October's when we I can't wait to do that South Park stick and juice in summer, guys. So rock with me. Um, I know y'all want Vice City. Do that oh, when yeah. we get about 200k. Just a man. second. Alice, I thought you were on the day shift. Pie? Well, I just slipped out for a second. This arrived for you at the station. Thanks. I'll put it in the back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. It's a deal. Put the check on your desk. Damn, he sounds like the dude from the, um, The Witcher, yo. A little bit. Elliot Ness. What y'all know about Elliot Ness? Al Capone, because they're on this game. It's not much, but I earned it. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's definitely him. Geralt from the Witch. I've seen better days, like a lot of us. Hey, Ness, where's my burger? I didn't realize he was Elliot Ness. Oh shit! We out here serving up hamburgers and fries. God damn it. All right, hold on, man. God damn it, Ness. You gotta be the slowest waiter in Santa Esperanza. <laughs> I guess so. The girls at Happy Dolls say you're more of the speedy type. I won't keep you waiting again. Ooh! <laughs> e thirty. Anyway, they catch the deadbeat robbing the pharmacy, but the <clears throat> there's no proof, so they hand him over to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. Everybody hold your horses, jeez. I'm going to grab your slice of pie. He told the dude over there, he was a, uh, a one-minute a one minute man over at the Take whorehouse. If Jenkins says anything, tell him it's my fault. And let him know that I'll continue to keep his agents waiting until he settles his tab. <laughs> I don't think I dare. Hmm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think, I didn't find my true calling until I was in my 50s. All right, prepare Dickinson's order. I really don't feel like making his burger. There we go. And this time, go easy on the chili sauce. <gasps> Gives me indigestion. Man, he... Yo, man, give him more sauce, yo. Give him a little bit extra. Just this... More. Another one. No... Another one. Done. He sound fat as hell. 
He sound like he's okay, like. Tell him, if you confess right now, I finish work on time and everybody's happy. If you don't, I have to work late. I get mad and I have to rearrange your face. You really said that? There you go. And listen to this, Ness. Yo, give me a timestamp. That reminds me of the You Said That videos. Just please. <laughs> and then I say to him, <laughs> the doctor will have to work late too, and it'll be your fault. He'll be mad. And when he's done fixing your mug, it'll be so ugly, you'll never get laid again. <laughs> he's saying, right? Yeah, like a soprano. <laughs> and you know what I did next, Ness? Um. He rearranged his face. Exactly. You see, criminals are like dogs. <laughs> By the time they get punished, they forget what they did wrong. But a bust up face is forever. Oh, how much sauce did you put on this thing, you goddamn maniac? Just enough to make sure you never come back here, Dickinson. Ah, screw you, Ness. That dude is, he fat as hell. Like, he have trouble breathing in between sentences. What's up, bro? Who are you? Your first time here, right? I like this job, you know? Not because I like serving coffee or food. This job is about understanding people, knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth before disarming you. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They'd keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You'd be lucky to wake up in a hospital. The question is, what do I do with you now? I don't care how you screw up your life, but I like this job and I can't afford trouble. So beat it. Now. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. You want coffee? Mm-mm. -mm. I forgot to thank you for bringing my pension check. Well, I saved you a trip. And a headache. The station's full of Dickinsons. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. They're not Jenkins. Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. My black brother! How you doing? That he swole his hell. Look at him. God damn, look at the game! Mm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm going to die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. Because you're black. It's too bad. I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. I'm surprised he served him. Shit was real in them times. All right, 20 years ago. So we're doing a flashback. Dockers. 
You. Call your boss. I have business to settle with him. <sighs> Can't even enjoy a quiet smoke. Look, I get it. It's Christmas. You're lonely and you want to end it all. But Santa Esperanza is full of bridges. Why not throw yourself off one of them and leave me in peace? Tell Capone that Elliot Ness is here. We're going to finish this thing once and for all. Jeez, I don't get paid enough. Listen, you got it backwards. I'm not here to make my boss come out. I'm here to stop you getting in. I'll do you a deal. Do what I say, and when I've finished with your boss, I'll bury your police file in his grave. Oh yeah? Why not bury it in the same grave as your buddy Dockers? You shouldn't have brought that up. Oh no? You gonna cry now? Hey, come on. It's Christmas. At the front gate! Oh, we get some gunplay? All right, cool. Ah, oh, shit. Put down your weapons. You'll get a fair trial. Wow, so we actually can shoot people on this. Oh, oh that's clean! Vinny gone, baby. He gone. Come on. I'm going for headshots, yo. All right, who else wants some? We got people coming out right now. Don't let him get away! So this is actually an episodic game that's like a telltale game. Oh. Oh. Burp to the crew! Where you actually can do some other stuff besides QTEs. I'm actually controlling him right now. All right, whoever's right, right there, they gone, baby. They go. Got him. He got that big ass. Yo, choke him out. Come on. Yes. I'll take this. Now I'm not making him run. He's doing that on his own, but I am doing the shoot. Go for headshot. Go for headshot. Headshot. Headshots is the way. Headshots, baby. A bit of recoil here. Oh, I didn't get everybody. Oh shit! He... Yo, he didn't die yet. He died. He dead now. So guys, once again, this is a flashback from um the diner. Oh, you, do you see the marksmanship? Do you see the marksmanship today? Do you see it? Ah! Boy, it's like a, I'm a headshot machine on these hoes. We gonna go see Mr. Al Capone himself. Damn, he is so drunk. Look at this guy, man. Have any last words? You come into my house? Your doorman was kind enough to let me in. You kill my men. I didn't know human beings mattered to you. Would you kill an unarmed man? You? 
Elliot Ness? You have my word. I'm not going to kill a man. Papa! Vittorio! Are you gonna kill me in front of my son? Oh, oh, man. That stain right there is all that's left of Denunzio. One of my best men. I told him to take care of the butcher on East Main. One of the jerks who've been screwing with me for months. We had to make an example of him. Send a message to the other storekeepers. Danunzio ripped out his guts and hung him up with the merchandise. But he did it while the butcher's daughter was watching. Fucking Danunzio. There are lines that cannot be crossed. We have to protect the innocence of children. Keep them far, far away from certain experiences. Your son should know what kind of monster his father is. I can't think of a better life lesson. Look, Vittorio. <laughs> his hand's shaking. Booze turns men into cowards. You'll be like your father. Never drink. It's funny, huh? The White Knight of the Volstead Act gets licked up to kill the king of bootleg booze. Alright, we wanna stop here. So basically, I'm gonna ask y'all, cause cause this is we at the pinnacle of the episode. Kill him or no? I'm gonna put a poll in the um on the video. So vote, and then we're gonna start on the next video. Uh, all you gotta do is comment below. If you made it to the end of the video, you are gonna say Al Capone, and I'm um, gonna pick anybody from the comment section, and you'll be able to win a fifty dollar gift card to P PlayStation, Steam, or Xbox Live. Make sure you like the video. Um, this is a, a game not many know about, so we're going to try to get this game out there. And um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Blues and Bulls, Episode 1, Part 1. We out. Peace.